He invented the alley-oop. He recorded the first 360 dunk in world history. He was the GOAT's favorite player. I'm telling you, you kids just don't know how good David Thompson was. When Michael Jordan was inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame, he didn't have his favorite NBA coach, Phil Jackson, introducing. He didn't have his greatest NBA teammate, Scottie Pippen, do it. He had David Skywalker Thompson introducing. That's because while Thompson is rarely thought of as one of the greatest players in NBA history, he, more than anyone else, inspired Jordan to play the game he would go on to dominate. And while Thompson never reached the heights that Jordan did, it's not crazy to say that in some ways he was a precursor to what MJ would later become. Heck, in college, he was better than Jordan, had a better career. In three years at North Carolina State, he averaged 27 points and eight rebounds while shooting 55% from the floor. He won two National Player of the Year awards, a Naismith Award, and ended UCLA's seven-year stranglehold on the NCAA championship when he led NC State past Bill Walton and the Bruins en route to winning the national championship in 1974. While at NC State, Thompson and his 5'7 teammate Monty Tao invented what's now known as the alley-oop when Tao would just loft the ball up above the rim where nobody but Thompson could go get it. He'd sky for it, catch it, and just drop it into the rim, and they began calling it the alley-oop. As a rookie in 1976, he battled Dr. J in the first ever dunk contest. And while he finished second to the doctor because Doc left from the foul line, Thompson was nearly as impressive when he started in the left corner, dribbled in, and threw down a 360 dunk that the announcer at the time called the twist around slam dunk. Drafted by both the ABA and the NBA, Thompson led the Denver Nuggets to the ABA Finals as a rookie. And while he lost again to Dr. J and the New York Nets, Thompson was magnificent, averaging 28 points a game in that final series. The next year, when he goes to the NBA with Denver, he continued to dominate. He averaged 26 points a game over his first three NBA seasons and led Denver to the conference finals, a place they've only been three times in their NBA history. During that run, Thompson once dropped 73 points in an NBA game. It does still rank as the third highest scoring game in NBA history behind Kobe's 81 and Wilt Chamberlain's 100 point game. And I can make a strong argument that Thompson's 73 points was the most impressive scoring performance in the league's history. Here's why. Will, in scoring 100, took 63 shots, and he hit 57% of them. Plus, he was way bigger than everybody else. Kobe had the benefit of the three-point shot. He was hot that night from beyond the arc, hit seven of 13 threes. Thompson, when he scored 73 points, there was no three-pointer. He was incredibly efficient, hit 28 of 38 shots, that's 74%, folks. Thompson was on fire. And that efficiency that he displayed in that game, that was a hallmark of Thompson's game. It's why he is one of the all-time great shooting guards that we've seen. He shot 50.4% for his career. That makes him one of only seven players, 6'4 or under, to shoot better than 50% for their career. Thompson, for all his scoring, 23 points a game for his career in the NBA. He wasn't a volume shooter. He wasn't a gunner. He was an efficient scorer who, like Jordan, who came later, was deft in the mid-range, could go to the hole and finish over anybody. Unfortunately, Thompson's career was cut short by a knee injury and more significantly, 
drug abuse. He only played nine years, only seven of them full seasons. But what he did in those nine years was incredible. It was enough to land him on five all-star teams and get him inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame. Bill Walton, who, as I said earlier, felt the full force of Thompson's greatness while in college, once said this about him. He was Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Tracy McGrady, and LeBron James rolled into one. An overstatement? Sure. But it does give you kids an idea of just how good David Skywalker Thompson was. For the best access, perspective, and personalities in all of sports, follow us at Fox Sports on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.